No. That's way too big. <laughs> that's way too small. And that's that way too just appropriate. Just right. We're good. Okay. Hey, brother, and welcome everyone to another edition of J versus Ben. Today we are taking on the world's hardest hundred years of Disney quiz. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do on this one. Yeah, that's There's a lot of years, and I have not seen every Disney movie ever, and not all of them ever. No. And there, there is a a quite the swath that is available here because because we're talking one hundred years of all Disney. That's not like specific to Disney parks or Disney animation company or Walt Disney, the man himself. Like there's a variety of different questions that it feels like could be in store for yeah. us today. And I'm curious to see how we're gonna do. Yeah, yeah, it's, this, is, this one feels like it could be very hard. It does, yeah. it does. Let's dive on it. In case you are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Kangaroo Cat is on the other end of the camera. She's waving, but you can't see her, but we can. She's going to be reading us today's 10 standard questions, plus an additional five questions from our quiz masters over on Patreon. Ben and I will have to answer all the questions completely by memory, but if we both agree we have no idea, Kangaroo Cat can give us the multiple choice. And I have been informed that Ben has won more quizzes than Don't I was aware say of this it. year. Don't so say it. I really gotta step my game up today. There's an exciting thing that we're doing for the end of this year's worth of J versus Ben's, so where we are going to cut together every single J versus Ben Number and one. see who throughout the year actually has the top score. And I am terrified <laughs> to see the results. Yeah, it's it's like me too. It, and I can't even tell you why I'm scared. Like it's it's either because I'm losing a lot, mm -hmm. or because it's closer than I want to be, or possibly some bizarro. Mirror verse world where I'm actually up by like a point or something. Wow. Can you even imagine? Because you want to know what will happen. Well, why would you be afraid of being ahead? Because I will lose it. Because I there see. are two episodes left to air before the end of the year, including this one. So one more after this one, in case you're keeping up with the math. Uh, so anyway, yes, coming last week of the year will be the ultimate J versus Ben showdown for the entire month or entire year of J versus Ben, the final battle. Yeah. Of 2023, see us again in 2024. Well, we'll be back. We'll be back. Yeah, 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 yeah no exactly, yeah. yeah. And for the record, I have done the math and I do know what the score is. Well, don't tell them. But they don't. I'm not going to. Why would I tell you? I I'm not going to. I just want the audience to know. Okay. Then I know okay. that, that and you don't know. Knows. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. And here comes the rain. Let's start. Oh, goody. <laughs> Question one. Question one. What was Walt Disney's original name for Mickey Mouse before his wife convinced him to change it? I think I know this one. Right? I, this, uh, is right. this is this is like I know that there is another name <clears throat> for This is not talking about like the rabbit character. No. no. Okay. 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 That is I'm a completely good. different character. Okay. Yeah. I am I know that this answer is a correct answer for a question. I'm afraid it's not the correct answer for this question. <laughs> ah, okay. okay. All right. Interesting. You ready? Yep. Okay, one, two, three. Mortimer. Mortimer. It is indeed Mortimer. Oh, Mortimer, Mortimer Mouse. Mouse. Mortimer oh. Mouse is like its own character now, if you watch any of the, like, the, the Disney Junior stuff. Oh, is it? Yeah, he'll come in and he'll always be like, ha! Cha -cha! Ha -cha -cha. And he's like sort of like an antagonist. And, oh, but, interesting. Or, or he's just sort of like over the top and too enthusiastic and causes a bunch of trouble for the, for the gang. Hat diggity dog for the gang. Oh, I did not yeah. know that. Okay. Well, okay. there you go. I was under the impression that Mortimer, and this, this is like probably good because it's correcting some of my own like, my own like brain cannon. Yeah. But I thought Mortimer was somehow just the long form of Mickey. No, I think um, I think it the original idea for the name was Mortimer and then it was like no. And then his wife specifically was like, that's not <laughs> you, you wanna know what you wanna know what won't roll off the tongue? <laughs> that. You wanna know what will become the most iconic mouse symbol of all time? <laughs> Pikachu. I will electrocute you. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a different place that altogether. Weird. It's weird <laughs> that they're both mice. It is weird. Because what, what they're our... probably the two most iconic characters, like, ever. Yeah. For what, what, their brand. What is also interesting about that is that, like, squirrels, if you see them just, like, running along the street, it's, like, not terribly, like, offensive. But if you're, like, walking down the city and you see, like, a mouse or a rat, like, running along, like, the oh, side yeah. of a building, it's very, like, uncomfortable. <laughs> I know. Like, yeah. why are they so popular as animated creatures, but, like, horrific as, you know, <laughs> real life 
Uh, yeah, gross. especially <laughs> if you've ever seen a squirrel with no fluff on its tail, because then it's it basically then it's, just looks like a mouse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it changes everything. <laughs> it's literally the same. Yeah. Also, fun fact um, that I was I was debating on writing this question, but I went with the Mortimer one instead. Mickey's full name is Michael Theodore Mouse. Michael Theodore Mouse. Yeah, I did not know that. I found that out on the Wikipedia. MT oh, Mouse. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we glad I didn't ask that question. <laughs> I am extremely grateful. <laughs> Alrighty. Question two. What song do the dwarfs in Snow White sing as they go to and from work? Oh. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully this is correct. I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think I feel good about this. Right. One, two, three. Hi ho! Hi ho is correct. Hi ho! It's actually spelled a little bit different, but oh, I'll well, give it to you. All right, well, it's H E I G H. Ho! No, Hi. Hi. deeply upsetting. No, as like was well on the Wikipedia. Bit. Yep. You know the thing when I was a kid that Snow White did was led me to believe that you could go into mines and just collect like full oh, size pre cut diamonds. That, like, yeah, like mining was just <laughs> yeah. the best job because it was like, look at all of the jewels. Right, yeah. <laughs> look at all of the treasure that is readily available to anyone with a pickaxe. With a pickaxe. <laughs> yeah. I will gladly go do that. Come yeah. on. Turns out it's a lot harder than that. Yeah, and if you yeah. found like even a single one of the things they're just ripping out of the walls, like it's no no one's business, like that, that'd just be like the best day of your life. Right, well, the best day of anybody. I mean, it's like yeah. a king's ransom type yeah, thing, basically. you know? Yeah, so anyway, okay. Anyway. All righty. Okay, I'm going to need to do this without looking at you guys, because I'm going to start laughing if I do. Okay. And now it's time for the first Quizmaster question of the game. That was terrible. I no, hated I that. I loved it. You I liked loved, it? I thought you did good, Kat. <laughs> okay. Good, Kat. Okay. All right. Uh, this question was submitted by Maddie Cook and voted on by patrons. Who is the only Disney princess with dimples? With dimples? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I have a guess. I have a guess. I think this is right, actually. All I can think is I think is Coco is right. like dimple, no dimple, dimple, no dimple, dimple, no dimple, 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 it is Tiana. No! She's got that one little. I was hoping that you would get it right specifically because I was when I was dropping something else out, off at your house the other day. Allie said that Addie's been watching The Princess and the Frog a lot. Lately. Yes, we, <laughs> we call it Princess Frog at our house. Princess um, Frog. Yes, we was, watch it all the time. I was thinking it almost had to be like one of the like computer animated characters because like it'd be so much extra work to well not so much but yeah. it just doesn't seem like. Uh, yeah, it's just like a cutie of little a dimple to a two D character. It's yeah. you know, and I, the thing I was thinking, and I don't even know this order is probably not even correct, but I was thinking like Snow White kind of has like the like the red uh, like blush on her yeah. cheeks, mm -hmm. and so I was kind of thinking like like Cinderella possibly because it seems like her face has got like more of like a like like a narrower mm -hmm. like you know I don't know cut. so <laughs> cut yeah cut yeah. Um, chin yeah, jawline? I don't know what I'm going for here. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know Cinderella's got that stiff jawline. <laughs> like, a, like a brick, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Uh. Well, speaking of Cinderella, what does Cinderella's fairy godmother transform into a carriage to take her to the ball? Okay. Okay. Right? Yeah. I mean, okay. Yeah. I mean... Certainly. Unless it's something else, but yeah. Unless it's something else. Ready? Right. One, two, three. A pumpkin. A pumpkin. It's a pumpkin. Yeah. Hooray. Oh, like, Which, is it an onion? I, I know. I thought, <laughs> I mean, that is I one of the answers that I put on here because of Shrek. I yeah. think Shrek is an onion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. an onion in Shrek. Like, this wait is, a minute. <laughs> that is one of those where I have absolutely seen Shrek way more times than I have seen Cinderella. Cinderella. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. For Which, sure. We did also have a, a candle that had a pumpkin on it recently. I know, <laughs> that, was, that was informing <laughs> that it for was... me. Yeah, because it had, it had some pumpkin scent <laughs> May or to may it. not yeah. have been modeled after that one. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> Solid. Alrighty. Question five. What is considered the first movie of the Disney Renaissance? Oh, oh man, what came when? What came when? I'm, I'm torn between these two. I think it's that. I'm pretty sure it's this. I 
can't remember the order. I'm going to go with my bottom <laughs> answer here and not my top answer, but. Okay. Okay. Right, ready? One, two, three. The rescuer's down under. I put the Little Mermaid. It's the rescue. Little Mermaid. Is it what? the Little it Mermaid? Is. Yeah. No, it is not. <laughs> the rescuer's down under was shortly thereafter. <laughs> I made a whole like two part something video about the Disney Renaissance explained. And I was like, I always thought it was weird that it's like, it's funny that it starts with this one. Right. Because it's what, like, is what well, I was thinking. It's like rescuers down under is, I feel like low on the totem pole of like films from this particular yes. era of time. Yes. Like it's certainly like, you know, you would think Aladdin. Um, yeah, Lion King, Lion King Beauty yeah. and the Beast. Right. Like those are all the yeah. like major big yeah. iconic Mulan, ones. Mulan, Tarzan, <laughs> Rescuers right. Down Under. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Pocahontas. Yeah, Pocahontas in yep. there. But anyway. All back. good ones, all good ones. <sighs> Alrighty. And now it's time for the second Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Law Ninja and voted on by patrons. This is our parks question. What does Epcot stand for? Oh no. <laughs> oh, come on. This is one of those so things where nervous. it's like, I know y'all have this information somewhere in your brain. It's in there. Dude, it is. Because we, so we've definitely said it there. more than once at I office mean, we, before. It's definitely like, like, oh man. It is so not coming to me, man. <laughs> I'm. Oh man, it's like, I think I'm close. Um, I'm missing a word. Dude, it is, I could, this is like gonna come to me like two months from now. I know, I know, <laughs> yeah, like, I'm like, I, I, We will be there two months from now. That's true, <laughs> but I, man, it is not floating around. I'm like trying to like, like, I'm trying to think of like what letter could like give me like a like a like a like a jumping off yeah, point. Yeah, jumping like, off like point. I'm like all the letters I'm thinking of like there's no F. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I can't even like make something up. This is embarrassing. It is. I should so know this. Like we go there all the time. <laughs> I know. I just can't. Okay. I, I have I have an answer. This this I I could be entirely wrong, but I feel like I have like the, uh, I have the flavor. I <laughs> you have the flavor? I think I have the flavor. Um, uh, I do not. All right. <laughs> you want to turn? Sure. All right. Three, two, one. I said, even people can overcome time. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. That's not even a little bit close. I have uh, tomorrow. I have oh. experimental, I don't know what the P is. I put perspective city of tomorrow. Experimental prototype city of tomorrow. You are very, I will give you a half point for that. It is experimental prototype community of tomorrow. Oh, oh tomorrow. community. Okay, because I'm gonna give you a half to, point for that one, Ben. And what I know, thank you. I, what I do know is that like his original intention for it was supposed to be a place where people could like live and play at mm -hmm. the same time, like live, work, play. So it's supposed to be all things yeah. in like one ecosystem. So I, I can't remember whether or not this is the case or whether or not just it ended up influencing the park itself, but I think that Walt was truly attempting to create that environment first. And then they, they sort of made the park based on- Based on the idea. Based on the idea. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, because I he never you lived can, to go to Disney World. No, and you can see like the prototype layouts, I think if you go on the People Mover. Yeah. In, to, in the People Mover in Tomorrowland, it shows you like the initial like layout, like plans I think of like, of Epcot, I think, or sort okay. of like the general idea. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. All these varied activities around the Disney World will be tied together by a high-speed rapid transit system running almost the full length of the property. Whew, okay. Anyway, right. boy, I missed that, was, that one hard. That was a good <laughs> question, you know what, Ninja. That Even a good people one. can overcome time. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it's gonna can't. be my show. <laughs> 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 I know, the way that phrase it sounds like, most things can. Even people. Even people. <laughs> Even people. All righty. Question seven. What wing of the castle is in, is the Enchanted Rose located in, in the Beauty of the Beast? Oh, no. Am I just... Uh-oh. Did, you, uh -oh. did your I mind know, know exactly? I know, like, uh -oh. Yeah. Let's just flip. One, yeah. two, three. West. My decision was right. It is West. Oh, yeah. I was <laughs> like, just go with gut. As soon as I said Your that, I was like, W's always throw me east. off. Because they look like these. The like, what's I'm, a what's a best? <laughs> I am really, really bad. I just sort of do like a like a 
like a staple shape for my yeah. W's, but yes, West. Yeah. But then, but then immediately I was like West Wing. Am, am I thinking West the Wing? West Wing the movie, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, because of the show. Yeah. <laughs> Kangaroo Cat likes that show. Kangaroo true. Cat loves that show. True, true, true. Yeah, it's one of my faves. Okay. Alrighty, question number eight. In The Lion King, what does Scar claim will happen to the hyenas if they stick with him? Okay, okay, okay. It's a specific line. Okay. Stick with me and. Okay, I got it. Locked. I got, I have the opposite. It's the like, like the you won't get a scrap without me. Man, we're gonna get copyright flag for that. That was it. That was perfect. <laughs> it was like the song was Someone in that. That was very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, great, a, great, great Disney villain song. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> One of the best. Yes. I don't know if this is right, but I feel, I feel like it's gotta be in the zip code. Ready? Sure. One, two, three. Even hyenas can overcome. No. That's exactly what it is, Ben. It you'll is. never go hungry again. You'll never go hungry yeah! again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it is. Good Woo! job. You pulled it out. Woo! <laughs> Good job. Man, someone's Both y'all, that was great. Me. Okay. And now it's time for the third quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Rainy Rain and voted on by patrons. Who is the youngest Disney villain at age 23? The youngest Disney you villain. You turned so quickly, I was like, do you know? <laughs> I, I put a guess, yeah. One oh, came okay. To mind. One came to mind. One came to mind. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I think this, this could be right. Let's see. Be, I mean, it's like, I don't, and no one's ever walking around being like, well, I'm 23. Ah, uh, man, but this, I wonder if this is like, would it be in, like in film, would you learn their age? Or I this? don't remember. I don't think so. Okay. I think I, think I, I feel like this one, even if it isn't exactly 23, it is still pretty obvious that this person is the youngest villain. Okay. 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 I, I would say. This was my guess before I looked at the answer. Okay. 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 Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Hans. Hans. It is Hans. Yay! Yeah! Yeah. Amazing. I, I was trying to like, I guess that means uh, he's older than Elsa, right? Because it's her I think so, birthday yeah. is the coronation. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. I was torn. I feel like my mind went to uh, Gaston mm. because, but like Gaston has already been to war and come back. Yeah. But that's the type of thing. Like he easily could have gone to war like at eighteen. Right. Let's face it, Gaston probably went sooner. Yeah. But like, you know, so it's like it seemed plausible to me that he could be that. He young. was does, one of the wrong. But it's answers. like I'm not sure if even in the animated version, you know, he like went to war. Oh, maybe you're you right. Know, like you're right. They, yeah. they embellish upon that for the live action. Okay. Yeah. He's okay. just sort of like hunter dude. But ever since the war, I felt like I've been missing something. Yeah. Have we ever explored the idea that the the, the two people, the two redheaded guys who are working with um, Flynn Rider in Tangled could possibly be two of his oh, other like some brothers? Of his brothers. I think of yeah, I think maybe we have pulled it. I don't remember before. that, but that makes sense. Yeah. The Stabbington yeah. brothers. Because the idea would basically be that like like Hans is the youngest of all of them, and he's sort of having to go to like extraordinary lengths to attempt to like achieve some measure of status in yeah. like by you know manipulating all of Arendelle. Um, so this idea would basically be that like two of his brothers just decided to go and be like brutes, right? Like, yeah, the, yeah. You know. I definitely think that makes sense. Okay. okay. Alrighty. Actually, on that note, you know what? Feels like a good time. I'm gonna go explore a little bit. All right, see ya. Places to go, people to see. Gonna go find Corona. Hello everyone and welcome back to the table where I am super excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Ridge. Working with Ridge is such a delight because I'm such a fan of the product. Like if you're not in the know, Ridge is the total game changer in the world of everyday carry. Like if you're unfamiliar, the Ridge wallet here is minimal in design, but like, don't let that fool you. This can get a lot done. But like, if you know me, if you listen to our podcast or anything, you know that I am personally all about carrying as little as I possibly can. Like sure, there's the big three, keys, wallet, cell phone, but my phone, no more apps than I need. My keys are pared down to nothing but the data daily essentials, and then there's the wallet. Like. I'll admit, between what I have to carry for the business, my own personal cards, the ID, there is more than I want. But Ridge ensures that I'm maintaining that minimalist life. 
Plus, not gonna lie, they've kind of got me sold on this new key case because it means that your keys can match your wallet, which I love, and it means I don't have to keys like jangling around in my pocket. But they don't have to match if you don't want to. I mean, they've got a complete lineup of customizable options, all of which make for the perfect gift for the holiday season and that hard to shop for person in your life. And like, honestly, with over 3 million customers and 80,000 five-star ratings, you cannot go wrong. And you really can't go wrong if you shop the holiday sale right now by going to ridge.com slash super, where you can get 30% off through December 20th. And if you use our link, you can enter for a chance to win a $4,000 Ridge bundle. So again, that is ridge.com slash super to get 30% off. Link is in the description down below. Hello and welcome everybody to, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really totally lie to you guys. It is, it's our, it's our storage room. Um, and it's sort of a, it's sort of a mess right now, but also today it's going to be the scenic route where I'm so excited to tell you about today's sponsor, MeUndies. Now there can be no doubt that we are closing in on the holidays so quickly, but this season gifting is a complete no brainer with MeUndies because it truly is the gift that just keeps on giving. Whether it's hooking someone up with a brand new pair of undies or three or a monthly subscription so they can continue to enjoy the gift of comfort long after that tree in your living room has gone on to become, well, mulch. And now I personally have been a subscriber to MeUndies for years at this point in time. And beyond the comfort, the other thing that I love the most are the patterns. Because for the longest period of time, I always thought like your underbridges didn't need to say anything about your personality, right? But having seasonal prints to get you into the spirit no matter what time of year is a joyous experience unto itself. Plus, you can always shop with confidence because MeUndies has a problem-free philosophy, meaning if you don't love your first pair, it's on them. So seriously, knock out your holiday shopping today and get 20% off when you head on over to MeUndies.com slash J versus B plus free shipping. Again, that's 20% off your first order and free shipping when you head on over to MeUndies.com slash J versus B. MeUndies comfort from the outside in. Okay, and I'm back. Oh, great. I'm back. It was Wonderful. Good, good fun. Did yeah. you miss me? I mean, we had, we, there was some, we had an adventure over here, so you know, I entertained myself. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right, well, I'll take that. We just spent a lot I'm of time. I'm glad you're back. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah, that's go. that's was, all he needed. I was fishing for it. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, question 10. You know we had to do an Emperor's New Groove question. Oh, yeah. In, oh, yeah. In, in the Emperor's New Groove, why did Cusco fire Yzma? Like the funny answer, or? Uh. What like starts the conversation of her being fired? Okay, like I, I'm it doesn't putting... have to be exact phrasing. I paraphrased what happened. Okay, I, I feel answer. like I'm, I'm writing a multitude of words. <laughs> I would, I would argue that this is all encompassed under the same sure. concept. So, sure. ready? I just want to make sure I don't miss something stupid here. Doing, doing what? <laughs> doing, <laughs> doing, doing, doing what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. You're fine. How long is that in there? What the fuck is that? I love this movie. Uh, <laughs> Even that one little line, it's like, okay, okay. Right, one, yeah. two, three. Like running the country behind his back. I said, yeah, sitting okay. in his chair pretending yeah, to be Yeah, she kept her. trying to do his job. Yeah. yeah okay, okay, yeah. okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah, got it. Y'all okay. got it. I'm thinking, that's kind of Oh, I know, I know. He's mine. Isma's in your chair, right? Isma's in your chair. Isma's in your chair. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get the flavor of it without having to say like, "You owe me a new acorn." I like your Isma. Three, 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 three. Question eleven. Entangled. What causes Mother Gothel to return to the tower only to discover Rapunzel isn't there? Like, what makes her become suspicious? What? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gronk here. I have watched this movie I, like I know <laughs> what like. Wait I have a minute. I have a, a like a, a thought minute. that might be a clue that I can say, but I might just hold off. Alone at last. Okay. 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 It's just okay. so quiet. I know, I know. I'm like, really? I feel like I should know it. I can like hear the crickets. I really have my work cut out for me on this one. I know. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll add festive music while we're thinking so that it's <laughs> yeah, not sure. quite so. Yeah, there we go. All right, ready? One, two, three. It's like just a wanted poster for Flynn. 
I said the discovery that the crown had been stolen, Castle Guard searching. Um, no. I'm going to say no for both of those. Wow. The All answer right. is that she sees one of the palace horses without its rider. And what I was going to say is, like, this is probably the most frustrating part of the movie for me because it is the most, like, flimsy logic like procession of logic of like oh horse without his rider rapunzel's in danger like those two things just don't feel connected <clears throat> in my brain personally so it, this part makes me mad a palace horse where's your rider rapunzel mm. so i always come back to it as like that's i guess interesting okay I mean, yeah she's pretty paranoid i guess yeah she's, she's already fairly paranoid you want to go outside? Uh, why Rapunzel? Yeah, I was trying to think if like if like she was hiding in the woods or something, and like a whole bunch of the castle guards rode by, and I I, I feel like I can like rem I can picture the scene in my head, but I can't like. Okay. Um, okay. All right. All but right. yeah, there you go. Okay. And now it's time for the fourth quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Kristen and voted on by patrons. Kristen with a Y. Who has voiced the most characters for Disney? Oh, this is like okay. I mean, um, are you thinking the thing I'm thinking? Must be. I sorry. I'll write it down so that at least I have something. I mean, I bet. this. I feel like this. I'm afraid that this is not as many as I. I feel like I know that this person voices lots of characters, but I don't think it's. There's a chance I don't know this person's name. Oh. But okay. I think that I know the very iconic character they voice. Okay, now I think you're on the same page as me. Um, that sucks because I don't know that person's name. But this is still just my, this is still just a guess though, because I think. Um, mm. Okay, so That's I'm gonna put this down here because I, I just, I, I don't have the ability to pull the name out of my head. Um, so the bottom information is not my answer, but it's, I'm not gonna be able to pull something else out of the hat. It's not gonna be. Like, it can't be like a, it's not like a super, super, I mean. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. I said Jim Cummings. I said Alan Tudyk, but voice of Winnie the Pooh. That's Jim Cummings, yeah. Yep. yep, he's done a ton of stuff. He's done Winnie the Pooh. He's done a few characters on Winnie the Pooh. I think he's Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. Um, yeah, that was what I was like. Ray and uh, the the little firefly and Princess of the Frog. Oh, really? He did, yep, yeah, he I did. Um, he's uh, <clears throat> Pete usually in. Uh, he's voiced over four hundred characters, like full stop. Man, yeah, I know. I was thinking, and like, a lot was, of them are Disney. I, could, I thought maybe like Alan Tudyk is what we were going for because he's like the Easter egg. He's like the the rats. And he's the more or... recent one, but I I, I mean I think. I think I might have seen somewhere. I think it, maybe it's like some sort of like reboot show type thing, but he was the voice of Baloo. Oh, something. wow. So like way back there. Yeah, so he's been doing it for a long for a, time. For a second, <laughs> man. Second, okay, yeah. that, that's a bummer because I know I know that answer. I just don't right, know the that, like the voice yeah. of who was the right <laughs> yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah. No bother. Um, shoot, okay. Well, you know, is what it is. All righty, question 13. What is the name of the female troll that adopts Kristoff and Sven in Frozen? The name of the female troll? God, is that in the movie? They're rocks. That's like trivia you can just find out extracurricularly. I, I don't remember if it's in the movie. She has her own Wikipedia page though. He's crazy. Okay. I believe you. I'm gonna keep Gosh. you. <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah. I would go multiple choice. Yeah, me too, I don't know. <laughs> All I know right. Grandpabby is the the elder yeah. troll. Yeah, so A is Pabby. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Jay, it's not Pabby. Okay, yeah, I got it. I did this because I had to make up two other names because there are only two named trolls. Ah, okay. <laughs> so oh, I had to use thing. the only other one that was in there. So uh, A is Pabby, B is Bolda, C is Poppy, D is Cliffy. Okay, okay. All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I said Boulder. I said Boulder. It too. is Boulder. It's Boulder. <laughs> is it, isn't Poppy the name of the troll and troll? It is. Okay. That is where I got I that. Like... Classic. Like, I literally looked up like cute troll names. Yeah, that's and amazing. Poppy was one yeah, of them. I was like, okay, I think I see what Cat did here. <laughs> and then one was a guy named Cliff, and I was like, 
Well, the other ones are like rock themed. So like Cliff is kind of rock themed. So I'm just yeah. going to name it Cliffy with a K. <laughs> Cliffy with a K. That was my train of thought. Cliffy didn't sound feminine enough. Yeah. The fact <laughs> you added troll rock That's why I though. added the, the Y. Because right. it sounded more feminine than Cliff. Cliff. Question 14. What was the last Disney animated film to win an Academy Award? So that's like the most recent. Disney animated film to win. Not Pixar, Disney animation. Yeah, 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 yeah. The last. Okay. And, and are we talking like for best animated feature or any Just Academy any Awards? Awards? Best animated feature. Best animated feature. Okay. I, th- I think that was the category I was looking at. Okay, okay. Hum. Because um, there's, there's always that like, like you know, yeah. sound original song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure something. it's. Okay. Yes. That is what I'm asking. Let's see. No. Ooh. Okay, so I know in that year it was that. Yeah, probably wasn't that. It definitely wasn't that. Probably wasn't that. Couldn't have been this. We just have to go against Pixar so often. Okay. Ah, oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Zootopia. I said Encanto. It's Encanto. Oh, oh yes! Encanto. Oh, no. <laughs> so I was like, so should have thought of Encanto. I, I was so worried because Encanto. We I mean, we literally in office called the Encanto effect because it was the Thanksgiving Day release where yeah. it kind of like didn't do well as like a box office. It was like but, one of the first Disney movies back in theaters or something like that. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was, and then and I saw it on a cruise. So my my concern okay. was like so once it hit Disney Plus, it exploded in popularity. Yeah. Um, and then like seriously like climb the charts and everything. Uh, it's one of my all time favorite Disney movies. Mm-hmm. Um, I cannot but then- believe I was not thinking of Encanto. <laughs> so, oh, I'm so mad. I'm sorry. Cause we were in- we were I figured at- you had it. The way you were talking about it, I was like, oh, Jay's got oh, it. Oh no, because we were in, it's because it, yeah, you're right. It's because of the whole Encanto thing. But we were in, um, we were at like NerdCon, NerdFighteria and the Oscars were on and people kept asking us who we thought was going to win best animated feature. And I was like, it's gotta be Zootopia. And it was. And that was what I was oh, thinking of. Yeah. And I was like, because I think that came out after Moana. And then I was like, and it so. wasn't like Raya and it wasn't like Strange Planet. Like, what else is there? <laughs> right, it's right, right. Oh, it's a Kanda. I've made so many videos about Kanda. We have a whole playlist. You can check it out by clicking right over here. Yep, sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get a roast on the internet for my Mickey Mouse voice. <laughs> no, I think it's great. I think it's great. I think this is. This, one of the one of the rules to writing for Pixar is it is more fun to watch your character try and fail. Okay. Yeah. yeah I like that. You know, yeah, like, right, so exactly. I think I think. So you're failing. <laughs> so, so I'm failing. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Heard. Yeah. Right. Heard. But, but it's like, but like you can learn something. Yeah. You know, it's mm-hmm. like it's like people like the fact that you tried. Yeah. I like the fact that you tried. I'm yeah, proud of you. I appreciate, yeah. I appreciate that. Okay. Well, give it one more go. One more go. All okay. right. And now it's time for the fifth and final Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Am and voted on by patrons. Just A- A-M, Am. Okay. As in Sam I? <laughs> As in Sam I. <laughs> what was the last Walt Disney animation studio movie that Walt worked on before he passed? Oh. Oh, no. Felt like that was a fitting last question. I'm pretty sure that's right. I'm pretty sure this is right. God, I'm gonna be so mad if I'm not. Mmm. Mmm, I think. That was a good knuckle crack. Thank you. Okay, so when did it come out? Is it obscure? It could be obscure. Well, I feel I feel good about it. How, what are the points at? Am I, I think I'm behind by Yeah, one. I think it's gonna be Ben Wynn no matter what. I think ben, does Ben have it locked up? Yep. But, <sighs> think of one. Do I know any stories? Don't fill my brain with thoughts of name of the wind. Yeah, distract me. <laughs> like if I move my head like it's this, like it's like holding a shiny object. It looks like it looks like I've got like a little fire halo. Going on. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I see it. I see it. Oh, butternut squash. I'm trying to think of just like I think that there's no what the thing that keeps coming to my mind. I think it's, there's too many years. Too many years. Yeah. Between and so I know <clears throat> I know when. Um, Walt. You know died. the year he died. Yes. Okay. So, um, I'm trying to think of if I can triangulate 
Right. Do some geometry up there. Yeah. A squared plus B squared equals the name of the movie. Right. A squared plus B squared equals the name of the movie. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say what I said earlier because I gave myself an internal timer of if he doesn't get it in the next 10 seconds and he didn't get it in the next 10 seconds. So I will say that it is something that we have we have either mentioned the name of the movie or something in the movie in within this filming. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know gonna... if that helps or makes it worse. I don't think this is it, but it's what I'm going to go with. Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. The jungle Book. It is The Jungle Book. Yes! Oh, okay. I think oh, Cinderella is 1959, and I was like, I think that's like nine years? Yeah, I believe. He did. It's 68 is when he died, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Jungle Book makes sense. That was our first ever DVD. It was. Really? Yeah. Kids. That was yeah. the first DVD we ever got. Our it's dad, I think, won... Uh, like the office Christmas party draw. Yeah, for like and, a DVD player in like 1999 or something. Yes, yeah. and it was like, it was like a huge get. Yeah. Like it was like a really big deal. Man, okay. So how did the points finish? Uh, it ended up being uh, 10.5 to 10. Oh! It's a tie is what I'm hearing. Oh! No, but Ben won that point five for fair and square. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm also wow. just realizing that I put Ben's points in Jay's spot and Jay's points in Ben's spot. So I did win. So I'm just going to switch that around. Okay, <laughs> in, okay. In post. Look at this. Look Even at this. people can overcome time, guys. <laughs> my, my lucky Mortimer shirt won. <laughs> Good old Mortimer. <laughs> oh, Good old Mortimer man. Mouse. Okay, well, I'm curious to hear how everybody else did. I'm going to have to store that that fun fact away because I, I think we've tackled that question before and Jungle Book just like... <laughs> <laughs> clean out of my brain, yep. so, okay, yep. okay. And now we need to give a huge thank you to our quiz masters who support us over on Patreon. Yeah, huge shout out to Maddie Cook, Law Ninja, Rainy Rain, Kristen and Am, like Sam I or Green Eggs and Huh. Green Eggs and, oh, I get it, the, the Huh and then the Am, yeah, oh, that makes sense, that is. makes sense. If you too would like to try to stump us in a future episode of J versus Ben, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash Brothers and selecting the quiz masters tier. Thanks again to all of our patrons who support us on Patreon. There we go. We did it. I guess it was a Ben win. I know. Sure. Although, although I, I mean, if it's a half point, like talking about that end of year competition, we're literally like, like it's like best case scenario was coming in and winning by like seven, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. and instead I won by. Yeah, but now if five. you now if you win by one point or something and, and like picked up a half point at some point earlier the other year, you know, that's gonna be that's gonna be frustrating. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be frustrating. It's amazing how how. No, I don't even say. I'm not gonna okay. finish that sentence. Anyway, thank you guys as ever for playing along with us. How did you do? Be sure to let us know in the towel section down below. But otherwise, until next time. Bye. bye!